nine-year-olds enjoy playing video games or riding their bike, but one young boy is thinking much, much, much bigger than that. He just became one of the youngest high school graduates ever. Monica Evans spoke with him about his goals and the future. I build robots and watch videos about anything and everything. Everything. Nine year old David Bellagoon talks matter of factly about matter. He even came up with a theory to refute the Big Bang theory. According to the science, it's infinitely dense, which means it would have to constantly be generating matter in order to be infinitely dense. And since you can't do that, the Big Bang Theory would be wrong. David, a member of Mensa, has been taking classes online since COVID, and he's excelled from the third grade to the 12th in less than three years. He also took three college classes while he was taking high school classes. David, at the age of four, knew the solar system with all the planets, with everything going on. Uh, he would help the teachers sometimes to explain things and s say things to the kids. David says he loves astrophysics, chemistry, nuclear chemistry, engineering, and software development, and he hopes to one day create new technologies. Such as maybe a hologram computer or a computer that you just snap your finger and then you see a whole hologram of things to do. I would like that. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Um, wow, that is impressive. Good for him, and I have no doubt we're going to hear about him in the future, for sure. Good for him. Good for him. Who? Uh, th this is why I'm glad Hakeem is doing a reaction to this video, because to be honest with you, this black people, black parents need to learn from this. Educate your kids young. Young. Every culture does it but the black community. If we can understand that concept of educating our kids young, before they are hit four years old, they will be just like this beautiful kid right here. Very genius. I learned that because I remember I was listening to a guy. It was a, it was a, um, a scientist. He said it. He said, normally, like, a, um, if you go to Japan or you go to China, they get the kids while they're young because they know when they hit the, the age of seven, they already already well already well educated. That's why they succeed in life because they get them while they're young. And I and I when I thought about that, I was like, oh okay. So then, then when I see this kid, young, nine years old, then I'm like, okay. Then I mean that scientist was right. Teach them while they're young. And even the Bible said, I think even the scripture says, say, um, teach the child while he's young, so he won't depart from thee. So educate the child while he's young. So he wanted to park from these. So he, he will be he will be very well nourished and very strive in the community. This is what we need. And I think that all I keep saying, our kid is our future. This generation is already done. But if we could get the kids on board and educate the kids to a higher level, bro, the, the black community is looking good. It's looking real good. So I hope black people will take mental note and really study this kid and take it from and use it for their own kids. Because Hakeem and Jordan, this is the future, man. This is the future. That's my take. Man, this is amazing. You know, him to talk about uh, astronomy because I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, y'all don't know I'm a big fan of astronomy. You know, I like to talk about you know solar system, the, the planets, the black holes, and everything. You know, and to hear this kid just to talk about that, man, in the next twenty or thirty years. If he keeps doing what he's doing, this this young this young kid could be legendary. Mm -hmm. This little kid could be an icon. This man can this this man and what have and then how technology will be in the next 20, 30 years. And he and he and he be there in the cream of the crop. You want to talk about Tony Stark, Iron Man? Yep. We need to talk about this kid right here. This kid right here. Because he's talking about being like a hologram, uh, computer, all that type of stuff. Man, he's, he's talking like that at a young age. You know, people, some people in their 20s or 30s are going to be talking about this. But he's talking about it. And he can make an impact. And he and, and the thing is, he has so much creative thoughts that's going in his mind, especially at his child. And, 
And then when he gets older, he can put that into work. And I'm hoping a lot of, like I said, Ronnie's correct. I'm hoping a lot of kids are seeing this. I hope a lot of parents are seeing this. Because if he had a child that's a child, was it prodigy, like this kid? Yo, Scott is 11. And, and the kids are our future. Because if you see a kid like this, maybe you, you, maybe you never know. Your kid might be like this. You never, never know. Never it's good to see, it's good to see this kid like this because this kid right here, he gonna change the game, and we we gonna talk about him. Might probably talk about it probably in Black History because he this because this kid's gonna make a, a big impact. That's my take. Um, brothers, um, we 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 talked about this, and this is a clear example when parenting done right. When when parents focus on their kids and nurture their kids' likes and interest. Because, you know, sometimes growing up, a lot of people in impoverished neighborhoods, if a kid has an interest, the parent doesn't have enough money to fund that interest for them. It's important, you know what I mean, that we focus on that. This is an example of maybe the next Neil deGrasse right in front of our eyes. You know what I mean? Like the kid talks so eloquently and mind you, we need to nurture him. We need to make him feel special. Luckily, whatever school he goes, he's not being bullied for being uh, um, uh, uh, a kid this, uh, of this caliber. You know what I mean? So I want to give a shout out to his parents. I want to give a shout out to all the news station who promote this. We need more positive image like this for more kids to see that these are the type of things you can do. Being a rapper is not one of them. Being a gangster is not one of them. You it's you be listen. You'll get rich quicker being an inventor or a software developer than rapper. It's quicker statistically. Preach, I can preach facts. That, that that's, that's, what, that's what I'm going to give. Thank God he has a father and mother at home, and and hopefully we we could do the same for our own kids. I will say this, and hopefully, you know, maybe a couple of years ago, we can interview this kid on Chaos Culture Radio. Yeah. We would love to interview that young brother. Same and he, can, and, he can speak, and he can speak what he want to speak. But that's my final thoughts. No, that's true, man. That's what I say. Um, the black community look bright when you see kids like this. And there's another little girl, too, as well. I think she she, she just graduated from um, college at the age of, I think, 15 or 16. So these, these, these kids are, are the future. And I think the parents are doing a great job. Some parents, not all of them, but some parents are doing a great job raising these kids. And this is what I'm saying. This is the only way the black community will change by doing things like this. And this is why you got to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. Remember mm -hmm. to click all. We do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time. Thank you for tuning in Care Culture Radio. We over and out. Peace. Peace. Peace.